Hello folks, this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. I've got myself a nice little car I'm working on, 1964 and a half Ford Mustang. I want to go over a couple things. Don't panic that my DA is sitting on top of the microfibers there and the cord is hanging down. I haven't even done any paint correction here, so I know some of those people are going to go, what a hack, he leaves the cord hanging on. Don't worry about it, haven't even gotten here yet. But I want to talk about what I'm trying to do and why this customer called me in is he had this car repainted 1964 and a half Ford Mustang sorry I don't have a lot of room in this garage but I'm trying to get some views of this this car for you guys the issue was is he had somebody paint it and then he had somebody do some type of compounding and polishing to it and what ended up bothering him when he got the car back and I'll try to get in here kind of tight there are wet sanding marks along the top of this hood here. I don't know if that, maybe if I get into the right light, you'll see it. See the dullness of the paint right here? What happened was, and you can see some of this chrome trim right there has actually been abraded. Somebody got compound stuck inside these creases. I've gone ahead and cleaned it out. But what happened was, is whoever tried to remove it took sanding paper. That's right, I said that. Sanding paper, like 2500 grit, and tried to get in those creases and pull the old compound out of the crease with wet with with sandpaper and left sanding marks all over the place and then gave my customer back the car he was livid he said I just repainted this thing I've got wet sanding marks he still has some compound inside this stuff I had to get a lot of it out of the creases but I wanted to talk about what I used to remove the old compound if I actually open up this door look at how much compound is inside hopefully I'll be able to get a good view of that you see all that white stuff inside the door panel, inside the door jam? That all has to be cleaned out, and I'm gonna to get to that in a minute, but it was far worse up here. I had to remove all that dried up compound that was in there. Again, somebody was using, in my opinion, it was probably an old type of compound, maybe an old 3M type of compound that isn't water-based, or I should say doesn't have as much water in it as the compounds that we have today, and it's slung inside here, inside the door jams and he left it and I had to remove it so what I've been using hold on folks so sorry if you guys have been following my channel for any time this Citral 266 by the gallon I'm using it straight to be able to clean all the little cracks and crevices all around the chrome trim all around the, uh, the, the, the little jams and the sills around the trunk lid there was just white compound everywhere and whoever tried to remove it they used sandpaper to try to be able to get it because it was that aggressive. But I'll tell you what, Citral 266 on a microfiber, t microfiber towel just going back and forth over those creases pulled up that old compound and it was just fine. So I just wanted to give you a little tip. I still have to get up here. There's some, there's some stuff on this side of the, of the rail that I've got to pull out of there and I'll pull it out with Citral 266. But take a look at this. Look at that baby over there. This gentleman's got some really nice old antique cars. That's going to get polished next, some other time, not today. But this, this 1964 and a half Ford Mustang is going to a little car show tomorrow. So what he wants me to do is get all the stuff out of all the creases, all the old spent compound from somebody else. And he wants me to do, well, I have determined because I did a test panel on the hood and I showed it to him. I said, what do you think? He said, I absolutely love it. If you look real close on the paint, it's hazy, it's got a little swirls in it. Again, somebody used sandpaper, so we got wet sanding marks all over the place. And what I'm using is this little Griot's Orbital Polisher, right, with an orange pad. And I'm using Griot's Correcting Cream. Let me pick this up and show you. This is Griot's Correcting Cream. I'm using this as a one-step. This is working really, really well. This is a repaint, this came out of a body shop. So the clear coat on this is pretty soft. My customer is going to have to be very careful how he washes it so he doesn't get any scratching or marring on it when he does that, when he's maintaining it. But what Griot's Correcting Cream is doing for me is giving me tremendous shining gloss up on top of the hood and I can get around this car rather quickly and still be able to do a one step. I got tremendous uh, shining gloss and then I'm going to put some type of semi-permanent coating on this car and get it dialed in. So I just wanted to bring you in Unless you look on the project I'm working on, 1964 Ford Mustang. Let me see if I can pull out, pull back here. But that's what I'm doing with it. Trying to remove the old compound that somebody didn't get out of the creases. Remove the sanding marks, do a one step with Griot's Correcting Cream. 
and then put a nice little coating on it. We'll get this thing all nice and shiny and it will look great. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you all.